One of the most confusing things as a starting streamer is OBS. It is finicky, feels like it was built in the Stone Age, and there are so many buttons you have no idea what they are, you might as well not try. Streaming is supposed to be fun, right? So after today, you are going to understand OBS, have transformed your setup from this blank canvas with nothing in it to a beautiful overlay setup with all the widgets that you are going to need to get started. Oh, and at the end of this video, I will show you how to get this overlay in one of the five colors completely for free. My name is Barry Epps and I'm a Twitch partner. And if you think I look tired, you are right. I have a two week old newborn and honestly, she just doesn't let me sleep. I've been awake for about 32 hours now. So let's get to it in this video. Let's set up your OBS in the same way that I have done for dozens of clients who, by the way, still use them to this day. And then hopefully I can get some sleep. First things first, let's get our OBS installed. To do that, go to obsproject.com and then find whichever operating system you use and click it. Once you open it up, it will automatically show you the auto configuration wizard. We are gonna go through the steps and let it set it up all automatically so you can get to it right away. This checks your PC and internet and does a very basic setup ready to go for you. Make sure it's set up to optimize for streaming, recording is secondary, and then set your base canvas resolution to 1920 by 1080 and your FPS to either 60 or 30, but prefer 60 when possible. Once you've done that, you'll be prompted to log into your Twitch. Do that so that it can check the connection to the Twitch servers closest to you for you. Then click next and just wait. Once it's done that, just click apply settings and some things will already start popping up. You will need those later, but for now we can just close them. I'll show you where to find those later. And this is your OBS. Here in the center, you have the canvas. That's what we set to 1920 by 1080 earlier. And it is exactly what your stream sees. In the bottom left, we have the scenes box. And this is exactly where you choose what to show your stream. You're going to need a few of these starting soon. Be right back. Stream ending. Just chatting. But of course, first... We're going to start with the game scene. So the first thing we're going to do is going to right click and we're going to click rename. You can also use the hotkey F2 and call this the game scene. The box next to it is the sources box. And these are the elements in each of the scenes that you want to display. You can think of it a little bit like going to McDonald's and ordering a Happy Meal. The Happy Meal box, that is the scene that McDonald's wants you to see. But then the sources are the burgers, the fries, the drinks and the toys. Here in the middle, we have the audio mixer, and we'll get back to that later. The next box is the scene transitions. When you switch from one scene to the other, it will give you a little bit of a display. It will show you. Right now, that is boring. It's just a simple fade. But later, we are going to make that look absolutely awesome. Here on the bottom right, you have your controls. And this is where you start streaming, start recording, or go into your settings. There are a few essential things missing for you as a streamer, though. And that is your chat box, your stream info, and your event feed. Your event feed tells you when you get followers, subs, raids, and all that jazz. And we will get all of that set up right after we get your overlay installed. If you don't have an overlay yet and you want one completely for free, then check out my website, contentdelta.online. I will leave a link in the description below. And you can get one of the Europa packs completely for free with the code James Webb. That's James W-E-B-B. -B. I will make sure to leave that code in the description below as well. The first thing we're going to do for your gaming scene is add the game. We do this with a game capture source. All you need to do is click OK and say that it has to capture any full screen application. It will automatically grab most of the games. If it doesn't do that for your game, go to the mode click capture specific window and pick whichever window you want it to capture. Usually your game will be in this list. Now that we've got your game added, we are going to need to add your webcam. Now this could just be your camera as you're seeing right here, but this also works for VTuber sources. If you need some more detail on how it works with your software, I'm not going to provide that here, but you can find that online. To add a webcam, we are just going to add a video capture device. And we are going to set that to the camera that we are using, which in my case is the Avermedia 
HD capture card. And then we're just going to click OK. There we go. However, with the Europa pack, you also get the webcam border. So we are going to add that one too. To do this, if your webcam border is not animated, that is if you're not using one of my packs, you need to use an image source. If it is animated, just like mine, then you go to a media source. We're going to call this webcam border and we are going to browse for it right away. Just double click the source and then make sure to toggle the loop button. It is very important because else after a bit, your camera just disappears. And there you have it. It's right there. However, the size is a little bit off and the camera is completely covering the screen. So we are going to resize our sources. For now, the first thing we are going to do is click the little eye symbol to make the webcam border disappear. And then we're going to resize the camera. We are going to do that very simply by dragging onto the side. That allows you to resize it. And if I need to replace it, just click in the middle and drag. If your source doesn't fit your webcam border perfectly, you can even crop your camera by holding the Alt button and dragging in while holding Alt. You can see that actually cuts off sides of my camera. That's called cropping. And if your webcam is snapping to border, such as the side, just like this, when you get close to it, you can hold control to temporarily disable snapping. And that allows you to drag it completely for free. Oh, and for completeness sake, and probably something you never want to use, if you hold shift and drag the sides, you can stretch your source to be wide or even tall okay let's enable the webcam border again and make sure that our camera fits in it but as we are moving them around now we are moving around the webcam border and the camera separately now of course you can do this this is no problem but it can be made a little bit easier click your webcam border and hold shift and click the video capture device right click and go for group selected items we will call this group camera and now whenever i move them i move them both at the same time which means when i resize them and maybe resize the box a little bit to get them in the right place i only have to resize the group and i don't have to resize my camera and box separately put that right there maybe do it a little bit offset from the side yeah that's fine that's good. I like that. Now that we've done that, it is time to set up your alerts. And to do this, we are going to use the Twitch alerts because they are the easiest to set up and super simple. Plus, it's one of the best additions that Twitch has done to their platform in a very, very long time. All you need to do to set it up is go into Twitch, go into your creator dashboard and click the alerts page. Here, create an alert box and automatically it sets up all the alerts you're going to need. Follows, subs, bits, gifted subs, raids, everything is there from the get-go. Really, the only thing that we need to do to integrate this into our OBS is go to the browser source URL at the bottom right corner, click copy, and then head into your OBS. Here, click the plus sign, browser, and call this Twitch Alerts. Then where it says URL, you are going to paste the URL we've just copied from Twitch. And then all we need to do is say control audio via OBS and click OK. Resize that a little bit. Put that wherever you want it. I want it somewhat in the middle. And there you go. Now your Twitch alerts are actually already working. To test that it works, all you need to do is alt tab back to your Twitch page. Click send test alert. And then you can see it happening in your OBS in real time. One of the issues that we are still having is that the alert is not looking too good. And it's also purple instead of the orange we're trying to make our stream to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into visuals and sound. And then we're going to change the image. To do this, click on upload file and choose the follow alert that comes with the Europa packs. Then up the scale to a size that actually looks nice and to change the text color head into text and speech and change the accent color to the orange that we are using or at least close once you've done that just click save changes we can preview the alert and make sure that it looks good 
and we're going to do that for every single one of these so let's head into subscriptions i will show you guys again upload file sub text and speech turn this into the same orange now to do that we can go into the follow and copy this hex code put it in here and that should automatically change it to orange and just do this for every single one of these with the game scene done it is time for us to set up the just chatting scene and to do that we are gonna first create a new scene click the little plus in the scene box and set it to just chatting you will see that everything disappears this is completely normal if you go back to your game scene everything comes back exactly as you want it to be here we are going to add the webcam again but this time we want it big so we are going to click the video capture device and instead of creating a new one we're going to add the exact same video capture device which is going to give you the exact same camera we don't need to do anything else for it we are also going to add another media source this is a new one and i will call it the just chatting box and for this we are once again going to browse and click the intermission and don't forget to set this to loop now we just move the camera into that box and we are done there we go and because the camera is behind the just chatting box we can resize it a little bit so we come out a little bit nicer without any issues whatsoever of it coming through however here we do have a chat box and to set that up we are going to need stream elements head to streamelements.com and log in with your twitch as a live streamer head into the streaming tools overlays and create a new overlay set it to 1080p and click ok then click the plus button at the bottom stream tools your stream chat now there are many different styles of chat but i like the transparent one so i'm gonna set the theme to custom which automatically makes it transparent then we go into position and size and set this to 450 by 650 or head into the text settings and here you can choose your font whichever font you want i want to pick one that somewhat fits our overlay so i'm gonna go with bebas and i'm gonna set the size to let's start with 20 and just see how that looks to test if this works we're gonna click save we're gonna go to our twitch and we're just gonna write some messages and we're gonna send those because once we do that it automatically populates the box and we can see that the text is black now that is not gonna look great on an already dark overlay so i'm gonna change color of the text to white because that is gonna look great and to get this into your obs all you need to do is click save then click the copy overlay url button and head back into your obs add a browser source call this chat and paste in the url you've just copied here set the width to 450 by 650 just as we did in the stream elements page then drag this into the chat box nice and snug and we are done your chat will now appear on your screen as well of course we want the alerts here as well so add a browser source add existing and then twitch alerts Put them wherever you want i'm just going to put them over my face why not and you are done with that if you want your chat to appear on your game as well you can do that by right clicking copy go into your game scene right click paste reference and just drag your chat to a place where you think it will fit i'm going to put it in the top left corner with your gaming scene and your just chatting scene in place we are now going to add your static scenes. These I call static scenes because nothing happens on them, but they are required for you to have a decent stream, such as a be right back scene. In the Europa pack, you will also find the starting soon and stream ending scene, but I'm only going to show you how to set up the be right back scene. The rest is exactly the same anyway. To start off, click the plus sign and add a new scene. We're going to add the be right back scene and then click plus media source and call this the be right back video click browse go into the static screens and click be right back make sure to toggle the loop and click ok and now you're done if you want to have your chat in here as well you can of course copy it straight from the other one copy and then paste reference and put that maybe a little bit bigger 
over here so that people can read chat while you're here as well. Next up, it's time to set up your audio. First things first, right click your audio mixer and set it to vertical layout. It makes everything so much easier. Then in the control panel, click your settings and go into audio. Here, set your desktop audio to default and your mic aux audio to specifically the microphone that you are using. Here, you do not want to use the default function. It could get confused with other devices such as your webcam if it has a built-in microphone. I use the DLZ Creator 1 2, so I'm specifically choosing that one. With that in place, there is still quite a lot that we can see here, and not all of it is what we require. So if you want to make stuff disappear because you're not going to be using that anyway, you can, for example, mute it or even right click and then hide it. There's just a few things that we really don't need in there, such as the video capture device. The webcam border doesn't make sound, so we can hide that as well. And now we can only see the desktop audio, the mic aux, and the Twitch alerts. However, we cannot hear the Twitch alerts yet. To hear them, click the hamburger menu, go into the advanced audio properties, and find the Twitch alerts. Then set it from monitor off to monitor and output. Then click close. Now you're able to make your chat hear you through your microphone, have your desktop audio come through both on your headset and to the stream, and make sure you hear the alerts as well. So now it is time to set up the crucial things that we needed as a streamer, and that is your chat, so you can see it in your OBS, in your stream info, so you can update your titles and games whenever you need. To do this, go at the top of the menu, click Docs, and click Chat, Stream Information, and Activity Feed. What I like to do is make sure that your chat is on the side closest to your gaming monitor. For me, my gaming monitor is on the left, and my OBS will be to the right of it, so I'm going to put my chat all the way to the right. I'm going to put my activity feed right next to it so I can see it whenever somebody follows. Then the stream information, I don't really need to keep an eye on during the stream. So I'm going to put that on the right side. And then I'm going to just set this up so everything looks nice. And now you're almost ready to start your streaming journey. Click that start streaming button and grow your channel. But many streamers think viewers are just going to find them and nothing is further from the truth. There is a guaranteed way which has made dozens of small streamers get their Twitch affiliate in the first 30 days of streaming, and if you want to learn how you can do that too, then check out the video right here, where I explain exactly how you achieve your goals. And as always, stream better, stream smart.